Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video where today we are going to learn about your writing voice, how to find your writing voice, how to um, curate your writing voice, um, and things of that nature. I have, in the past, done a few different videos on voice. It's something that comes up now and then. Like, people ask about it. How do I know if I have a voice and all this other shit? We all have a voice. I think what happens with a lot of writers is they're afraid of their voice. When they first notice it, when they first are writing something and they're like, wow, that really sounds like me. I think a lot of writers freak out and like kind of pull back a little bit. They, they don't want that much vulnerability in their writing. You feel a bit naked when you are that exposed. And I'm not just talking about being like honest in your writing. I'm talking about being you in your writing. A lot of us when we interact with each other or strangers or whatever, we have a, a persona that is like the thing that protects us as people, okay? Creative people have a harder time doing this. And creative people also are terrified of critique for the most part. And so there's a lot of barriers between you and somebody either you're talking to in a grocery store or someone who's reading your work. So I feel like a lot of people get scared when they see their voice in their writing and will immediately change what they're doing. And you shouldn't do that, you know, like... It's you, it's who you are. To figure out how to curate your voice. This is probably the new part of this type of video. And for those of you wondering, if I, I'll, I'm gonna type voice into the search bar when I post this video and whatever videos pop up, I'll have popping up here in the corner. Um, there might be one, there might be seven, I don't know, but they'll like pop up and you could at least check them out after you're done watching this. So if you don't know how that works, like when you have your little cards pop up down underneath the description, it'll have like the videos that were tagged. So you don't have to like click that right away before it goes away. Like it'll always be there. You can always go back and look. Anyway, who fucking gives a shit? So as far as curating your voice goes this is basically how it's done and this happens on my channel all the fucking time people write me all the time and leave comments where they'll go i totally agreed with you on this i agree with you on this but when you said this no i don't, I don't like that i don't like that at all and that's okay um and you're gonna know this when you watch this channel when you watch other channels, there will be things that you pick up on that you go, oh, that resonates with me. I fucking like that. And then there will be other shit that you're like, no, 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 no. I do not like that. And it, once you start noticing this, write down what those things are and write down the things that you don't like. So you have kind of like this master list of the things that you're into and the things that you're not. Okay. And when you read like craft books, you know, like how to write and whatever, like you're going to find stuff in there that you go, oh, this totally speaks to me. And then there's going to be shit that you're like, nope. When you take all of those things, that is your voice. That is how you are going to represent your work to people. That is how, or present your work to people, okay? And then once you figure out how you're going to do all of this, the what is how you feel and what you can create and how vulnerable and honest you can be. You know what I'm saying? I'm a big believer that people 
should write as close to how they speak as possible because that's you. Like a lot of us, um, I'll, I, I notice people do this where like they talk a certain way to me and then they'll send me their work and their work is like completely like, like these words have never come out of this person's mouth before. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that you need to dumb down everything you're doing, but just make it fucking real. You know, and this might be one of those things that you're like, I don't like this. I'm not going to put this in my good category. And that's fine. I'm just letting you know. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully this was awesome and you dug it. Um, my chat books, um, I'm doing that big sale right now where you just tell me which ones you don't have. Like you just tell me what you're going to pay. And as long as it's covering the postage for it and a little extra in my pocket, I'll send you whatever you want. Okay. I'm trying to get, um, rid of as much of my inventory as possible. So, um, I don't have to pack it away in a storage unit. Okay. I have not actually gone through all my emails because I got quite a few the first day I talked about this and I got a little overwhelmed. So if you're trying to figure out why I haven't written you back, it's because I just needed to slow down a little bit. And um, so I will be getting back to you shortly. Um, right now, um, my email is at 27,500 unread emails. And that's not just from today. That's over the years of me just like not giving a shit. <sighs> so much stress, so much stress. So anyway, guys, anyway, keep buying my books. Type hard, join the channel down below, and I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.